uh, you made the comment, sweetheart, that uh, your tongue, uh, that goes away when you eat cooked foods, and that's because cooked food stops your body from cleaning itself. That's sometimes what you use in a detoxification when it's too aggressive on somebody. You slow that uh, healing crisis down with cooked food. And so this is why you see that when you eat fruit, it just comes right out because fruit is really pulling on that. The tongue is just an extension of your GI tract. So what you see on the tongue is what's going on in your gut. And that's uh, very important to look at that. A lot of people use these tongue scrapers and things, and that shows how much lymph toxicity that they have, particularly in the wall of the gut, and it'll show you malabsorption and everything else. This isn't fungus. This is lymph toxicity, and so, yeah, you can have fungus in it. You can have bacteria in it, hopefully, because this is the process of breaking down and, uh, and getting rid of here. So very natural to have a white coating, uh, even deeper. Uh, the deeper you dig in your body, and that's where you see the fruits and, and even water fasting really pulling this out on your tongue. Now, I don't think I have too many questions this morning. Drew is looking on that, but let's see. I have someone calling from uh, Greece here, and she had a lot of questions. She's had some uh, uh, stage 3 breast cancer. Uh, she got a 2.6 centimeter tumor was removed and 20 lymph nodes. So, and she's having chemo. So, uh, that's, that's a scary one. Uh, she's from Athens, so we'll be talking to her a little later. Sometime I'll get some, um, uh, uh, maybe we'll do one live to show you how this works, because my goal is to make every one of you a healer. And keeping it simple, you, you won't get caught up in these controversies of B12 and, and, and amino acids and calories, because someone asked me about calories, and, um, and she's worried that she's not getting enough calories, you know, and I haven't thought about calories in 40 years. And now I saw on the news here a few months ago that now the less calories, the better. This isn't about calories. It is certainly about nutrition and certainly about magnetic energy, uh, really. Uh, calories, I mean, if you're going to eat more calories, eat more raw foods. I, I know if you look at the herbivores, they're, they're, they eat a lot. Uh, Bush Gardens up here in Tampa, they have a big uh, primate exhibit, and I think it was saying that primates eat 40% uh, of the day or 30% of the day, play 40 and rest 40. So they only eat 30% of the day, and most of them are pretty good size. Some of the females are, are, are smaller than the, than the big uh, males, but uh, you don't mess with a female. Uh, uh, a chimpanzee or a female, any of the, uh, the primates, uh, these, these guys will rip your head off. And that's because they're strong. Why are they strong? They eat raw foods. Anything that eats raw foods is strong, except for the lions. And they, they, they have some quick strength, but the endurance is low because of the heavy protein. Uh, here's one about uh, keratokinosis. This is what uh, Drew has. Uh, uh, and so a condition, he had to have his cornea transplant, uh, transplanted. You know, in no matter what situation you're in, I don't care what it is, your only hope to regenerate and rebuild and sustain is to remove the type of medium that's breaking it down. Now, on top of this, on top of this understanding of the lymph and acidosis, is genetics. And, uh, you know, genetics determines how a cell thinks and feels in the moment. And so uh, that's why you want to get cells regenerated before you conceive and have a, a young one, because when that happens, you're not going to pass what you receive. You're going to pass the consciousness of the cell in that moment. That's why you see a decay in genetics from generation to generation because everybody eats like mama eats. Or this, this ridiculously perpetuated uh, 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 American dietetics diet. Crazy. Someone commented that uh, milk is full of B12 only if you add it. When you cook, you lose any co- or water-soluble factors. This is all there is to it. So. We don't understand the difference between raw and cooked, and major, majorly difference in chemistry. This is why in milk, 
you know, it's why you see these little slick orange juice commercials where they say uh, one glass of orange juice gives you more calcium than four or five glasses of milk. Because when you, bond, when, you, when you pasteurize at these levels, you're taking that chemistry toward plastic, you're bonding chemistry, the water soybeans are destroyed, and the oils are bonding, and now you have a, a, a whole different character. I don't know if some of you guys remember C. Everett Koop. C. Everett Koop was the United States Surgeon General a while back, and he came out with a statement that made the headlines across the United States. Uh, U.S. Surgeon General warns milk may be bad for you. <laughs> well, two months later, he's not the United States Surgeon General anymore. That's how honesty just can't seem to get with people. I I'm amazed. You know, this guy was being truthful to help out the suffering of man and the lymph problems. And what happens? Boom, you're out. Dairyman's Association. Well, maybe we should sue the Dairyman's Association for their role in covering up the tremendous side effects of milk and, and, and the health concerns that you have drinking it. Maybe we should turn the tables on these people. You know, I've lived passive for a lot of years. You do in meditation and you just kind of let go and let God, so to speak. But in the last few years, I've had to fight some big heavy fights and uh, I'm kind of in the fight mood a little bit, you know, because it's like I'm fine in my God thing, but I look out there and it's like, man, suffering so much over what? Arrogance like the Citron guy and, and, and these kind of people and the people that like to control and the narcissistic people. I mean, it'd be nice to see that consciousness raise up. If not, then we know this planet, of course, is where karma's worked off and those that are doing ups and downs, you know, they, they have to pay for that. And what better place here? So, Drew, you got anything for me? Yeah, I'm waiting on some uh, questions and answers here. Uh, let's see if I have anything I haven't got to. Yeah, this is uh, from uh, Leanna Crystalline Ascension. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people, and this is a this is kind of a good question. If you're on a lot of medications, do you take the herbs? I've never, in my life, seen when people are doing raw foods and the herbs, it ever interfere with medications. It's a good way to titrate in the sense that yes, your body's going to detoxify these medications out of you. At the same time, though, you're going to have that enhancement of tissue behind it. I would not be afraid at all to, to work with these medications you're on, sweetheart, and at the same time detoxify. I wouldn't at all. The only two that concerns me is high blood pressure medication, which is really, that's a short-term thing if you're on these kind of programs. And the other thing, of course, is always going to be blood sugar medications. Uh, important to keep the blood sugar, you know, below 120, 130. Uh, we like it to balance out 85 to 90, and it will. But sometimes when you're brittle and you've got breaking down fat and you've, you've got glucose loading and all this other stuff, um, you're, you're going to um, you're going to have some need to play with that. But you can play with it PRN, and that's when needed, as opposed to keeping yourself on a dose that could slam you in the ground. You know? I remember uh, once uh, I had a guy in Portugal, and I, maybe I told this on another video, you know, but he was um, MS-like symptoms, and the medical doctors had sent him over, and he was very advanced. He could hardly walk and move, shuffled his feet, and uh, I asked him what he did, and he said he was a butcher, and so... Uh, I, I thought I knew his problems because uh, they had done MRIs and everything else. And interesting though, they'd done all these tests, they didn't find really what was the core here. And I find this interesting because this will help that guy that was talking to that medical student here in Germany. 